Hey guys, I'm Nesmark and today I want to show you 5 micro TNT traps in Minecraft. Let's start. First of all, I'd like to show you the basics of these traps. If a TNT Minecraft falls down, 3 or more blocks is going to explode. Also, if 2 or more stacked TNT Minecrafts run into a wall, they're going to explode. In this case, we want the explosion to happen quickly, so we place a block in front of the power rail, which when it gets activated is going to send the Minecrafts into a wall. You can also speed up the explosion slightly by placing a fence in front of the power rail. Now that you know the basics, we're ready to move on to the different traps I have prepared for you. I'll also show you how to build them since they're all very simple. You're in the forest and you want to make a tree trap. You can pick any tree and at the top block place any type of rails and at least two TNT minecarts. Cover it up and your trap is done. If the player is not paying attention, they're most likely not going to see it, especially if they're not playing with fancy trees. You can hide it better by placing a few walks around the TNT minecarts and placing more leaves. So now we're going to test the trap out and it works great. The TNT minecarts will either fall directly on the player or on the ground, getting triggered either way. However, this trap is not perfect as the player can panic or have fast reaction and break the TNT minecarts. To avoid this, I recommend placing at least 3 or 4 TNT minecarts. Even if they do react, they most likely won't have enough time to break all the TNT minecarts. The trap usually kills the player, but if you want to be sure, you can place TNT under the tree. Since TNT activated by explosion spawns up faster, the player won't have enough time to escape even if they don't get killed by the first explosion. Our next trap involves any structure that has a door. In this case, I'm just going to use this house in the village. First of all, the door must be moved behind the door frame. Then, you need to see where the door opens. If it opens to the left, place a power rail to the right. If it opens to the right, place a power rail to the left. Next, close the door. Be aware that this will be the last time you use the door as opening it will trigger the trap. Place a chest above the door and a block diagonal from it. On the top, place a rail and a TNT minecart on top of it. Push the minecart into the chest. Then above the chest, place another chest and repeat the same process. Break out the box carefully and let the TNT minecarts sit on the door. Be careful after completing this next step as it will make the trap active. Go under the power rail and power the box that it sits on. I'm using a lever as it's cheap and simple. After that, replace all the box and you're done. Opening the door will trigger the trap. Now we're going to take a look at a trap for caves. Find any block that you want to trap, dig under it and create the same setup as I showed you in the beginning of the video. Place rest on dust and two levers like this. Activate this lever and break the other one. Now the active rest on dust should point to the power trail without powering it. Cover it up, don't forget to place at least two TNT minecarts. Now when a player breaks the trapped block, it will trigger the trap. Again, you can use trigger TNT for more explosion power. The next trap is similar but involves ore in the ceiling. Simply place rails above the ore and a TNT minecart on it. As with the tree trap, you can use more TNT and more TNT minecarts. Finally, if you already have a trap that uses TNT, it might take a while to explode. You don't expect the player to wait for it, do you? You can use the trick with TNT minecarts to create way faster explosions that there's no way to escape from. And that's all the Minecraft traps that I wanted to show you today. I hope you guys liked them, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye bye!